Hey guys, this is Stephanie. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and thank you for all my new subscribers um, that have been following me. Thank you so much. And for some of the guys who are actually asking questions, thank you, thank you, thank you. So today I'm going to be making a unitard. I'm using purple um, neon cabernet net and also I'm going to be using purple milliskin spandex, okay? And also, I'm going to be using regular elastic. Um, this design have a tie in the around the neck. There's also a tie in the back for the unitard. Okay, there's a, also a hole where the butt is uh, for the unitard. And there's two holes on each side of this unitard. Okay. Now, what you're looking at is actually I'm um, making the pattern. Um, I it's I have a regular um, pattern, which is a unitar pattern. And then from there, I make it into a shorts pattern. And from there, I make it so that it is seamless in the front. So there's no seams in the front. Okay. And from there, I also went and made my design. So everything I'm using is with my black pattern. Right here, I'm showing you guys how to do trimming um, using their serger, okay? And also when you're um, sewing with the trimming, make sure that you're not pulling it too tight, but just sli slightly pulling it um with your trims. So what I do, I trim with my serger and I also, I have a Juki 6800 series MO, which is an industrial serger. And that's what I use to sew on. All right. And I also use it for, to sew my elastic also. Okay. So when you're making, when you're sewing with elastic, make sure you're not cutting the elastic. All right. And you can use some, industrial machine come with guides mine doesn't so what i do is that i use the foot as the guide to make sure i am not um going over or making any um making any some of the sides narrow and some of the sides big no what i do is when i make the trim i make a cut i cut a three inch trim and then i stay with that three inch and when I'm um, start stitching, I stay with the stitching and using the foot as my guide. Okay. Um, so after when I finish with this, I'm going to be rhinestoning it. And I'm also going to make you guys see a video of me actually um, doing the thong. So right here, I'm thinking about putting... Might just leave it alone because what I did was curve it a little bit, but yeah, I think I'll leave it alone. Yeah, but let me give you a close up of the trims and what I mean. If you stay with one, um, when you're stitching, stay with it and curve it, do not stitch straight on curve with knit. It doesn't look good. And you can actually see it when you're, when, when I'm looking at other dancers, like dancewear that is being made, I'm like, oh my God, they're stretching it and sewing it. And sometimes they're stretching the, the top and the bottom, which you're not supposed to be doing. Okay. So when you're doing the trim, you're only supposed to stretch slightly on the top. And let the bottom stay put. Do not stretch the bottom. Because you want that you want that nice curve. When it comes around and comes around and go around, you want it nice and you want it to be flat when you're making it. When you make the curve, if you make a curve, you see it accentuate and come right around or go right around, come around, and it's accentuate. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and finish her up, okay, and then go from there. 